Hello everyone, this is a, another random video on my channel just like Friday Night Dinner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to successfully start off a YouTube channel. Many of my viewers just have to just have a Google account and they just comment like everything. But now I'm going to be telling you how to successfully start off a YouTube channel. Now the timestamps will be in the description so if you want to look for like a certain bit of the video, you can. But let's start. First it's finding out what you want to do. So for me it was gaming and it still is, just not as much. I've gone off to looking at other people's YouTube channel as a kind of like reviewer but I'm not gonna, I'm not really doing that as much. I'm getting back into gaming. Well obviously it can be something else like makeup, reviews, tech reviews, anything like that, you can do that. So that's a really small section, but at least you know what you want to do. Secondly, it's finding a suitable YouTube name. Now for me, firstly, it was FreeCourse394, which was um, my Xbox gamer tag at the time. Secondly, it was um, Inspire Gameplays, which was inspired by Crank Gameplays. Just changed the crank to Inspire, because I like to inspire people. That didn't go really well. Thirdly, it was certain keyboards, which was my Xbox Gamer Tag. My second Xbox Gamer Tag. And fourth, and fourth, it was Turbo Laser. I wanted to look for an 80s vibe. Turbo Laser. It sounds 80s, and even my intro at the time was inspired by, like, around an 80s vibe kind of thing. But you can do anything. There's lots of websites on YouTube name generators that you can use to fully copy a name off that or inspire or get inspired by a name that you want to use. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a few links of name generators if you do want to look, but I'm not forcing you to. Further, it's equipment. Now this is a huge important bit in making your video unique and professional. For me, when I started off, I was using a tablet, a really cheap Acer tablet. I think I've still got it. This was the tablet that I used to start off. The glare is really bad, so I bet you can see the reflection on. Yo, and isn't this good? But you can see, it's a really cheap tablet, and it doesn't even have an outer camera. So what I used was this little um, front-facing camera. I put it up against like a stand and recorded the screen. So if I was still doing this now, I would like get a stand, put it here, something like that. This is what I use. And I carried on using this until 2018, three years after. I think I broke it. Let's just take a look at the equipment I have now. Firstly, it's the camera. You don't really need a huge DSLR camera. I can't really say it. You don't really need a DLSR camera to start off. You don't need a professional look. All you need is a nice webcam. For me, that's the Logitech G922 um, webcam. <laughs> I'm doing this at 1080p at 30fps. You don't want to do 720p at 60fps. Why? I'm going to show you. So this is 720p at 60fps. As you can see, it looks really smooth, but not in a good way. It's not the highest quality, obviously, but it just looks horrible. So I recommend not using that. Secondly, it's microphone. I've got a unnamed thing right here, but I've got the pseudo tack something. I was going to get a version of it which was on a stand, but now I'm thinking about it, having a boom arm is really good. Having boom arms makes you, the microphone get more closer to your mouth so you can get heard better. As you can see, if I put it in the place where the stand would have been, it's not the best. But having a boom arm, it makes your voice a lot better. So I recommend using this, even though this wire really gets in the way. It's really good. Now it's a PC. So you can just get a really cheap laptop if necessary. You don't have to break the bank with this. All you need is like £400, get a cheap laptop. The laptop that I used was really slow and I don't recommend it. It was an Acer. Yeah, I don't trust Acer anymore with that horrible tablet and a horrible laptop. So I don't recommend getting like an Acer laptop, like a cheap £100 one. But for me, it's an £800 PC. All right, I'm not bragging, but this is basically one of the minimum things you need. You're going to need a good graphics card, a good processor, a good, at least 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I'm not forcing you to. For me, 
I would get around a £500 PC, as it's not over the top, but it's not breaking the bank. Fourthly, it's monitor. I've got an AOC 24 inch curved monitor, but you can get whatever you want. I recommend a 24 inch at least. I haven't got anything below a 24 inch, so I can't really say what to expect if you get something below or higher than that, but I recommend just a 24 inch. <sighs> this is gonna be a long video. Fifthly, it's keyboard. I've got a Logitech gaming keyboard. Don't know what it is, but I'll try to link it. It's a membrane keyboard, but it has a sound of a mechanical keyboard. There you go. Next, it's a mouse. I've got the Logitech G502 gaming mouse. It's one of the best mice out there. It's changeable GPI switches, RGB. And you have like 12 program programmable buttons so you can program it to whatever game you have. Next, it's software. Now you've got a PC or a laptop, you've got the equipment. Now you need the software. Firstly, it's the big thing, video editing. Now I've had my fair share of rough times with video editing. I've had so many different software I use, some of them better than others. Firstly, I used to have Adobe Premiere Pro. I still use it for like um, my intro. My intro was made by myself on Premiere and After Effects, obviously. And that is like £60 gone already a month. So I don't recommend getting Adobe, but I'm going to be showing you what I do use for just simple cutting and slight effects. I use Wondershare Filmora 9, which is kind of like a really cheap it's really easy to learn, and I think it's about £120 for a lifetime subscription, so you don't have to pay anything except that one thing. So you can so you can buy it once, and it'll be there forever. We just say lifetime, but it lasts forever. But you don't live forever. What is that? But I got it off a deal, so it's £60 for a lifetime, but I don't think that is still a deal. There are, there are a lot of discount codes that you can use. Don't know where, but... I highly recommend it. After that, it is photo editing. I've got Photoshop, which I use for all my thumbnails or banners or icons or anything like that. I'm taking the graphic design course, so I'm, I am getting better at Photoshop and I recommend you do it the same. I recommend that your thumbnail stands out from any other thumbnail. So if you're doing like Fortnite, make sure it's not just a plain old thumbnail with you playing and your face in the thumbnail. You need, it, you need to make it stand out, so try to learn, like, effects on photos, like getting a drop shadow, outer glow, stroke, anything like that will make your thumbnail stand out from the crowd. After that, it's audio recording. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say audio. I've got Audacity to record my audio, which is happening right now, which is linked to my microphone, so, um... What's that got to do with- After that, it's time to upload your video to YouTube. I'm pretty sure I've said everything. Oh, and I nearly forgot, is recording. So right now, I'm using OBS for recording my webcam. So I've got a lot of presets here. So I've got a lot of presets here. I've got Best of Both Worlds, which has my webcam and my um, screen on. There's just screen, which shows my full screen. There's webcam, which just shows my webcam. And there's a start, which has my, like, my stream, and just a plain old black. OBS is free, so I do recommend you buy it because you're not spending any money, are you? Now it's console recording, which is only if you want to do console gameplay. So things like if you've got Xbox Game Pass, I, rec I recommend recording games from your console because there's more games you can play for free something like that or playstation now i don't know these things so don't judge me i have the elgato hd 60 pro i believe it goes into a pci slot in a P in a pc and it connects to my console and my monitor so i can still see it while it's recording on this screen if you don't have a pci slot which is like a laptop, laptops don't have PCI slots, you can get the HD 60S, I think, which is really just the same, but, and like an external one. It does the same, just not goes in like, you have to slot it in inside your PC. There's a tutorial on how to plug in both things, HD 60 Pro and HD 60S, I'll put that in the description. And I think that is it. Also, music. 
I can remember just getting copyright free music, so there's a just type in copyright free music and there is a lot of music you can play without getting copyright strict. This is important for me because if I get copyright strict, I won't earn any money from this video, so I'll try to find some copyright free music for this video. What fun! So I think that is the end of the video. I've been gone for 20 minutes. I think that is good enough. Thank you for watching. I think I've put everything in the description. If you want to know more, or I've missed something out, say in the comments, and I will reply to your comment with what I missed and how to do the thing that I missed. Do I think I said anything? I think I've said everything. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.